हे गाइस दिस राहुल एंड वेलकम टू गो महामाया डॉट कॉम एंड इन दिस टूटोल वील बी लर्निंग हाउ टू इंस्टॉल अ थीम फॉर इस थीम इन योर वर्ड प्रेस वेबसाइट एंड नाउ आई एम श्योर दैट यू हैव परचेज द थीम ऑलरेडी इफ यू हैवन परचेज द थीम दैर इज द टॉप टेन लिस्ट ऑफ द थीम्स इन द इन साइड द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स विच विल टेल यू विच इज़ द बेस्ट थीम इन साइड द थीम फॉरेस्ट एंड यू कैन मेक अ परचेज आफ्टर डिसाइडिंग and now once you done with that purchase you'll find themeforest.net/download you need to open this and inside this you'll find download button this is your theme this is your download button you need to click on that and inside download you'll find all files and documentation and license and purchase code you need to download both the thing and now once you're done with the download of the theme you need one hosting and one domain domain for the name and hosting for storing all your files for buying domain and hosting you need to type gomahamaya.com/go/fc30 this will give you 30% discount when at the time of making payment and here you need to scroll down and you'll find some of the very good stats about fast comet why you should not go for any other hosting like fast comet is better than hostgator godaddy bluehost and is cheaper trust me even you are not paying either single dollar for domains because domains are free for lifetime free domains for life once you purchase the domain from here they will be going to update the domain throughout your life and no extra charge you are going to pay for that and here you need to click on get started and once you are on this page you need to type your domain name like www dot whatever domain name is there like i'll say something dot com or you can change it from here what you want dot us dot org dot net this is like uh, what is that dot extension dot com is targeting for globally if you want to target only uk you just choose .co.uk or if you want to target only usa choose .usa and if you if your website is related to education then choose .eu if it is you are targeting from india then you can choose only .in but these domains will be like only for particular country but .com is for global and i'll click on use this domain you're saving 30.95 dollar every year and next here the discount got applied you'll see that costing is 59.4 dollar and the price for domain is free fill the details and make sure you should not choose all these options or these options because this is going to charge you extra and if you'll scroll down you'll find data center this is the main important part of fast comet that's why i'm not choosing any other fast comet will give you options to choose your data center what is data center wherever you are targeting the country where you are targeting your website let's say i want to target usa so i want my data center to be near usa if i'm targeting the people from london I'll choose the London data center so that it is can faster load. I'll choose Chicago and costing will be same. You don't have to pay extra for data center location. And now scroll down, fill the credit card details or PayPal and click on I agree and click on create account. And once the payment get confirmed, you'll receive a email. It may be inside the inbox or inside the spam box. So you have to check whether it's inside the inbox or spam box now in this email you'll find your website url will be here whatever domain you have purchased and your website hosting account control panel link whatever the link you have you just copy the link and paste in the browser and and you'll be getting redirected to c panel login for that go back again and here you'll find user id copy this user id and paste in this area copy this password and paste in this area and say login and now 
Once you are logging into a cPanel, you will find something like this. And now, once you are logging into cPanel, you need to scroll down till the last. And in the last, you will find a script. And inside the script, you need to choose WordPress. Click on that. And now, once you are inside the WordPress install tab, you will find software setup. And inside the software setup, you will find choose a protocol. Here you have four options which says SCTP or like SCTPS www dot. Out of these four options, SCTPS is the best option. If you want to add SCTPS www dot example dot com, then you go ahead with that. If you does not want www in the beginning of your website, then you choose this one. For me, this one is the best option. And next you'll find a trusted SSL certificate was not found. For this, you need to install a uh, SSL certificate for getting secure in this area that we will be learning later on. Now you need to scroll down and here you'll find choose a domain here. Whatever the domain you have purchased just now that will be here. You need to select that domain and inside the directory you'll find WP. You need to remove that WP. Otherwise your website will get installed inside a directory and next scroll down. You'll find site setting inside site setting. You'll find site name, my blog. You can write whatever you want. Uh, let's say I'll write go Maha Maya and site description. What your site is about. It's a fashion blog or it's a e-commerce website related fashion. Like I'll assume that you're starting a fashion store latest e-commerce online fashion store which describes your website and inside site you don't need to make any changes apart from that and and inside the admin account you'll find admin username admin password admin email id for username also you should write something difficult for password also you should write something difficult so that normally people should not be able to guess that Username you can write uh, Rahul at the rate five six seven eight nine something like that for password also you make it difficult as of now I'll write only Rahul and password also my mine will be Rahul and here the admin email ID my email ID is this as of now I'm writing my email ID this is where you'll get a email for this login ID and password scroll down and you have option to select the language. I'll select English and apart from that, you don't need to do anything. Just scroll down and click on install. And now they're processing your installation file. Uh, finally, you'll receive a congratulation. The software installed successfully and your website link will be here. You can open in a new tab and now you might get an insecure in this area. The reason is that because you haven't installed SSL till yet. So don't worry about that and now go back and open this link in a new tab. And now once you're on this page, you need to write a username and password that you gave during installation. I'll write down my username and password and then I'll click on login and congratulations. You have installed WordPress in your website and this is your WordPress dashboard. And now once you are inside your dashboard, you need to hover over appearance and you need to click on themes and inside themes you need to click on add new and here you'll find upload themes and now you need to go back to the themes which you have downloaded just now just go back to the folder and whatever the theme you have purchased will be in this format whatever the name and dot zip you need to unzip that file you need to right click on that and you need to say extract all and click on extract and you'll see that your file got extracted click on that and inside that file you will find so many of files which name documentation licensing themes files or something like that so many files you'll be getting you need to choose themes file or the file which names your themes name you need to open that i can see the themes file i'll open this and inside this, I can see there's like two files, jupyter.zip or jupyterchild.zip. You will find only one maybe. You need to click on that and you need to check inside you have these PHP files or not. If you have, that means this is the correct 
file that you need to upload or you'll find style.css. If you are not having these files, make sure you should search for all these files. Approx, approx same files you'll find in all those themes. Now go back. I'm confirmed that I need to upload this one, right? So this is in zip format. Make sure this is in zip format. And now I have to choose this one. I'll select this one and I'll drop to this option. Or you can click on choose file and then you click on install. Now make sure this is inside the zip format. And in this corner, you'll see that the file is getting uploaded. And finally, you'll get a install themes from upload file. Whatever themes you're using is successful. Now click on activate. And now whatever theme you have purchased, next steps is activation. You'll find your themes in this corner. You need to click on themes, any of the options, and you need to find a register product or add key. You just need to click on that. And once you click here, you'll find options to add a key and then activate the theme. For getting key, you need to go back to your download option in theme forest and there on the download option. If you click on that, you'll find download certificate and purchase text code. Click on that. And here you'll find that your text code got downloaded. Click on that again. And in this area, you'll find a item purchase code. You just need to copy this particular item purchase code and paste inside the key option. You need to paste the key inside this API one and you need to click on activate. And once the theme get activated, you will be able to import pre-made template of the theme for faster building. And now we'll learn how to install that SSL in this area. For that, go back to your cPanel. And once you are inside the cPanel, in the search option, you need to type SSL. And here you'll find let's encrypt SSL. You click on that. And once you are inside the let's encrypt SSL, you need to scroll down and inside the domain, whatever domain you have purchased will be here. And action, you need to click on issue. And next you will be redirected to install certificate to this page where you have options to select these options. Make sure all these options should be selected and click on issue again. And finally, you will receive a notification that SSL certificate is now installed into your domain, whatever domain you have purchased. And you can go back now, click on go back. And here you'll find your domain with let's encrypt certificate. And here you'll find it's installed. And now we'll go back to our website and we'll check whether it's working or not. I'll refresh my website and it's still showing me it's not secure. What is the reason? You need to clear the cache. Go to browser and type control H and click on this area, clear browser caching and clear cookies and cache file and clear data or else you can open your website in a incognito window and test whether it's showing HTTP S or not. Yes, it's showing secure in this area. I hope you find this video useful. If you have any question or query, let me know in the comment section. If you haven't clicked subscribe, click on subscribe button for the more further updates. Thank you.